Rogue Survival. I'm Jason Hill. I'm James Blackburn. And this is our guest, Kristen Kasserman. And today's show... And don't forget about I'm Danny. Sorry. I'm just saying. I'm Jenny. <laughs> She's here too. We got everybody. Today's show was about social breakdown and what could happen. One of the things I might have to do is uh, improvise a weapon. Yep. And we have a quick video here that Danny did, and we'd like to show that to you first. Yeah, Fun. check this out. So we're out here today, I'm going to show you how to make a pretty basic spear. And you can use it for hunting, you can use it for uh, hunting for fish, frogs, and you know, if you're safe enough, maybe a walking stick. So what I've already done is I've harvested a green branch from a tree. What you'll then do is you'll try and find yourself a kind of branch to set this up against. Kind of put it right there. Use your foot to brace it on the bottom and since I already have one ready I have a hammer so you'll take your blade just kind of set it in place as close to the center as you can which shouldn't be hard and then you'll just start tapping and it works best with a green branch because then you won't end up breaking it too easily and see how easily that's working. And you'll just keep going. And this is for a two prong spear, should have mentioned. So now that it's about yay so far, it's pretty good. If you go too far, you'll actually weaken it and you can just have it break. And if it's a little stuck, always try and work back and forth. Don't ever just try and yank it. Safety first, always. To make a two prong, I actually have a stick here that I'm going to use to wedge, actually, between our two pieces. That way we can have a nice separation between the two. I have here, conveniently, a shoelace. So, being safe, don't let this be in your way. Put it away. There's, you know, a thousand and one knots that you can use, but in something like this, something simple is nice, which if you want to use a square knot, which is right over left and left over right, and that'll be just fine. You're not really going to be skewering soft dirt. So now what we have to do is sharpen our skewer. So take your knife back out. And what you'll want to do is you want to make sure that it's tucked in kind of at your hip and always, always point away from you. And just sweeping motions. And this especially is where it's nice having a green blade, or I'm sorry, excuse me, a green branch, <laughs> because it'll go much smoother. You'll want to start towards the end, actually, and then you work your way back. And if you just start kind of working your way around, it'll eventually start to go into a point. All right, welcome back. <laughs> that was pretty awesome, Danny. It was very entertaining to me. Good job. Well. Did you like go out and spear anything afterwards, or? You know, I didn't. I, in theory, I could spear the air, but I didn't. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to do a show on that where we, she like gets yeah. a frog and then we like grill it up and eat some frog mm, legs. Frog legs. <laughs> and it's southern. It is pretty. It tastes like chicken, honestly. It really yeah. does. But it does. <laughs> A little slime here. And so, we have sticks here. Yeah, we? We, we have our contest we're going to do. And for our contest today, we're just going to make an improvised weapon. We'll sharpen these up into something and uh, have fun with it. We'll see who uh, gets sharpest the fastest. <laughs> OK. So this is a single prong spear this time around. Correct. And it's a yeah. bit harder since these are already dead branches. Yeah, these. So. Yeah. <laughs> Challenge. All right. All right, well. We're strong. Do you have your wet noodle? I do. Oh. Gentlemen, release your weapons. Need sound effects with I that, think that, right? As we'll stand back like a whip. here. So <laughs> technically, I am going to make a two-prong spear because uh, so it's already two points. So oh, lucky duck. All right. This will be awesome. <laughs> so All right. Under the hip, just like she said. Ready? Or under my pit. Yeah. Set. <laughs> Go. Yeah. So I prefer to do fast little strokes like this. Dun, dun, Jason dun, dun, is going a little slower, yeah. but dun, 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 everybody has their own technique. Can, can you guys hum some music? I feel like we should see. <laughs> so normally you wouldn't do this inside either, as you can see all these shavings that are coming around everywhere, making this, messes here. This is a good kindling. It is. So if you had to start a fire, 
you don't waste anything in a survival situation, you use all of it. And, like uh, Danny said too, we're cutting away from ourselves. Trying to. We have we have that first aid kit on set, right? We do, we do, and we should all know yeah. where that is. I'm pretty sure I got a splinter, so we may need medical attention later. A little injury. I think we had hydrogen peroxide. We'll we'll dig it out, Danny. You're. But it hurts so bad. <laughs> it, it might actually cause more damage than uh, the original wound. <laughs> Exactly. To try to you want to it. educate yourself. I mean, don't ever, don't ever do something that you're not comfortable with. Like earlier in the beginner's box, we had, you know, a, we actually had a gun in the beginner's box. That doesn't mean to go out and buy one. You know, use what you're comfortable with. So, I guess as we're slowly reaching up to a point here, I guess that means Getting that we're nice point. I'm almost getting there. to the end of our episode. So. If you want to know more about what we do, if you want to ask us any questions, feel free to visit our Facebook page at facebook.com slash no joke survival. I'm in the I'm in a danger zone here. <laughs> you can also visit our website at www.nojokesurvival.com. There you can find uh, links to YouTube to watch our videos in case you wanted to kind of look again, see if there was anything you missed. And you can always shoot us some questions. We'll have more detailed information on the website. So we hope that you come back and join us next week. Next week we're going to be talking about protecting your stuff in any kind of situation. And so, all right. Thanks. Duel. Mine's pretty good, man. Oh. You fight oh. me now. Yours is two prong. <laughs> I know I got two prongs. We're talking safety, but it's not happening. Ah, ah. It's funny we're using sticks when I still have a knife in my oh. hand. <laughs> Some of these other ones right here, we have things falling on the ground. Oh, I think I may have wet myself a little bit. If you're up on a mountain, you may want to go down into a valley, you know, or, or observe the area. Some lime. Oh my God, what is that? What is that, dude? I, I probably, think it's probably a Sasquatch. They're, they're all over the place. This is important. You don't want to wipe uh, your backside with something that might be poisonous. You, what you want to do is, is, is literally just sit down and, and listen. I kind of blew my way through there pretty badly. <laughs> there was a lot of outtakes. It's back, dude! It's back! Ah! Where is it? There it goes! <laughs> That's awesome. You never know what you're going to find in the wild. I love it. Uh, or some sort of uh, area where there's, you're going to find people and be rescued. Oh, oh man, that hurts! And now for a blooper. While I was talking, I could feel them crawling down my butt crack. <laughs>